Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm here today to talk to you for just a few minutes about the Lair of Satan mental filter and rewriting the history of the world through activations of light. So, um, it, it could be that there are some folks today during this process of regeneration and new creation on new earth who are clearing through mental filters mostly from past lifetimes, occasionally from this lifetime that I would term um, the Lair of Satan Mental Filter. Now what this means is that in some incarnation uh, because of soul wounding uh, some, some body elemental um, in them, some thought form attached to them, either through projection from someone else or through their own creation, uh, through their own misunderstanding of true reality. Some body elemental of this sort has the conviction that, that they, their physical body is, or their auric egg is the lair of Satan. That's that word lair, what it means is the place where Satan hangs out. I think the situation of the, the lair of Satan mental filter folks these days is that they're longing for the good old days when when all that like power was like within their grasp, you know. But they've come beginning to come to an understanding because they stand their energy stands out in the current day as, as being the densest, you know. And so everybody becomes aware of what is going on with them. And so I think that their position from like a left brain point of view is that they wish that the old days were here, but they know that the old days have ended. And so what they're looking for right now is a way to like stop right where they are and, and not have to deal with the situation, right? Mm. But there will come a point, or may come a point, where they say to themselves, well, you know, the old mental filter is just not working. What should I do about it, right? And, and that point may be coming soon for some. Now, there are a few things to know about Satan and the devils and so forth. One is that they're gone now from Earth. So what remains is the body elementals that remember the time when they were here. So this is the time of clearing all that, okay? But going back to those times, in those days when Satan walked the earth and devils were everywhere, um, Satan befriended no man. In other words, Satan moved from from soul field to soul field. Satan moved from from man to man, but Satan was no man's friend and no woman's friend. And Satan never inhabits um, a person, soul field. Satan is a very, a very great energy that, that doesn't really fit into, into the auric egg of any human being. Satan is, in fact, an angel that agreed to fall uh, in dimensionally, agreed to fall in dimension so as to help create the third dimensional reality. This was an agreement between the angel and God, okay? And now that this time has ended, Satan has been freed to resume his angelic presence, all right? And, and none the worse for it, because it was a very great and honorable and courageous thing that Satan, that this, this wonderful angel did to, to filter down its, its godliness to the point where it could, could participate in the creation of this very dense reality that we're all clearing out right now. Well, that's a little bit about Satan. Satan, Satan was very high dimensionally. Satan would move from man to man and help that soul field to 
in, um, to enact the, um, the hologrammatic depiction of the third dimension. And so he was an actor that would sometimes, whose energy or part of whose energy would descend into the hologram of people. So the idea that we are a lair of Satan is really not completely true. Even back then it wasn't. What it was, was that some soul wounding in us resonated with a very deep, um, with very deep density and allow that energy to flow through, okay? Or to, to descend upon it for a moment. Ah, <sighs> so that's about Satan and Satan's lair. All right, so. <laughs> okay, so. So what do we do if we come across folks who believe that their, their physical bodies and their auric eggs are the lair of Satan? Or what if we, in some prior incarnation, or even in the current incarnation, experienced this energy, this satanic energy, and, and our body elementals came to believe that this energy was... Um, was the energy of our auric egg, our entire auric egg, mistakenly believing that. Okay, so there's an easy solution. The first thing to do, uh, I would say, is to, what, here's what I would do. First, I would use the, the um, process of uncolorization of samskaras that, um, that Swami J recommends on SwamiJ.com, uncolorizing the samskaras. All right. So, if this um, this scenario of the lair of Satan has has been enacted in my current lifetime, even repetitively, continuously in my mind in the current lifetime, I would begin by uncolorizing that phenomenon. I would say, uh, in a past incarnation, I enacted the scenario known as Lair of Satan. And, um, and this might involve, you know, satanic acts. He, everybody knows what, what they're considered to be. <laughs> so, in a past lifetime, I enacted a scenario called Lair of Satan. And um, and that was long ago. In this lifetime I am I am clearing that scenario. And if we still have an attachment to um, to that word lair, which is admittedly it has a certain is it called savoir faire? <laughs> uh, you can always say in this lifetime I choose to enact a mental filter called Lair of Heaven, Lair of Heaven. And then later you can switch it to, as, as the clearing process proceeds, you can uh, switch it to um, 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 King of Heaven or Queen of Heaven, and that preserves this egoic sense. And then later you can switch it to um, messenger of the angelic realm or like that you know you can change up until tell the ego is is clear of all that right so that's one thing uncolorization another thing is to work with the body elementals you can work with the body elementals that are that are that are um that believe that this body is the lair of satan and you can say no this body is the temple of the holy spirit now that's what i want you to say from now on all right and then with regard to the sexual chakras, which are often deeply wounded in this regard, you can say, speak to the body elementals there, and you can say, my, my sexual chakras are perfectly healthy and happy. Like that. And so ask them to repeat that over and over again, every day. Okay. And the same way, lots of times we have trouble with the basal chakra, you can say, my, say, speaking of the light, light field, you can say, my um, lower quadrant of light, of the light body, is in perfect working condition, right? And, and, 
perfectly reflects the divine regenerative state, something like that. Yeah, use your own imagination with your body elementals, right? So, uncolorizing, body elementals. And now, the third technique. Um, this is especially useful for those that are like, um, that are o overhearing or seeing people that are a acting out or, or reminiscing about these kinds of um, mental filters. And it also works for people that are in the midst of those mental filters. And it, and it goes like this. Um, you say this activation of light. Spirit to team, optimize and rewrite the history of the world for the all through free will. Say it like that with, with confidence and determination and, and optimism. Okay. And you'll really only have to say it once. And what will happen is that your um, your uh, awareness will move to the to the um, alternate reality or alternate timeline, um, all, alternate dimension, in in which the that event is not taking place. That event is not taking place because that event, that demonic possession, that uh, scenario in which Satan is 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 within us, that is not an optimal event for the current uh, energy of Earth. Okay, it it may have served once in understanding more deeply the nature of duality, and in fact will provide great insight um, to to the star brethren and to us in future. But the thing to do now is to, to, to step our awareness into a, a, a higher dimensional um, situation, into a different timeline, into an alternate world where, where that uh, density no longer takes place. And that can be done in an instant. Okay, So here are three techniques for dealing with that. Know that the, that the time of the reign of Satan has ended. It ended in 2012. And all that remains is our own, like, um, the, sub, the, the unconscious thought cloud of the world's um, um, conviction that the situation still exists. So we are removing the mental filters. So that's it. God bless you all. Keep you safe, happy, and re able to rejoice in the new energies of Earth.